Question number 241. Note. This question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. You have an Azure AI search service. During the past 12 months, query volume steadily increased. You discover that some search query requests to the AI search service are being throttled. You need to reduce the likelihood that search query requests are throttled. Solution You add replicas. Does this meet the goal? Option A Yes. Option B No. The correct answer is option A, yes. In Azure AI Search, replicas handle query workloads, read operations. If a search service is experiencing throttling due to high query volume, increasing the number of replicas distribute the load across more instances, reducing the chance of throttling. Therefore, adding replicas does not meet the goal. Question number 242. Note. This question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. You have an Azure AI search service during the past 12 months, query volume steadily increased. You discover that some search query requests to the cognitive search service are being throttled. You need to reduce the likelihood that search query requests are throttled. Solution You enable Customer Managed Key CMK Encryption does this meet the goal? Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is Option B, no. Enabling Customer Managed Key CMK encryption enhances data security, but it has no effect on performance or throttling. To reduce throttling of search queries, you need to add replicas, not enable CMK. Therefore, this solution does not meet the goal. Question number 243. Note. This question is part of a series of questions that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. You have an Azure AI search service. During the past 12 months, query volume steadily increased. You discover that some search query requests to the cognitive search service are being throttled. You need to reduce the likelihood that Search query requests are throttled. Solution You add indexes. Does this meet the goal? Option A Yes. Option B No. The correct answer is Option B No. Adding indexes does not reduce throttling caused by high query volume. Throttling is typically resolved by increasing the replicas, which handle query load. Indexes help organize data for search, but do not affect capacity or throughput. So, this solution does not meet the goal. Question number 244. Note. This question is part of a series of questions 
that present the same scenario. Each question in the series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. You have an Azure AI search service. During the past 12 months, query volume steadily increased. You discover that some search query requests to the AI search service are being throttled. You need to reduce the likelihood that search query requests are throttled. Solution You migrate to an AI search service that uses a higher tier. Does this meet the goal? Option A, yes. Option B, no. The correct answer is Option A, yes. Upgrading to a higher pricing tier provides access to more resources. Example, higher query limits, more replicas, and better scalability which help to reduce the likelihood of throttling due to increased query volume. Therefore, this solution does meet the goal. Question number 245. Your company uses an Azure Cognitive Services solution to detect faces in uploaded images. The method to detect the faces uses the following code. You discover that the solution frequently fails to detect faces in blurred images and in images that contain sideways faces. You need to increase the likelihood that the solution can detect faces in blurred images and images that contain sideways faces. What should you do? Option A. Use a different version of a face API. Option B. Use the computer vision service instead of the face service. Option C. Use the identify method instead of the detect method. Option D. Change the detection model. The correct answer is Option D. Change the detection model. The current detection model, detection underscore zero one, might not be the most suitable for detecting faces in challenging conditions such as blurred images or images with sideways faces. The face API provides different detection models such as detection underscore zero two or detection underscore zero three which may offer better accuracy for those scenarios just a quick reminder if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers feel free to purchase them on buy me a coffee page i have shared the link below Question number 246. You need to enable speech capabilities for a chatbot. Which three actions should you perform? Option A. Enable WebSockets for the chatbot app. Option B. Create a speech service. Option C. Register a direct line speech channel. Option D. Register a Cortana channel. Option E. Enable course for the chatbot app. The correct answers are Option A. Enable WebSockets for the chatbot app. Option B. Create a speed service. Option C. Register a direct line speed channel. To enable speech capabilities in a chatbot, you must create a speech service to process audio input and output. Register the direct line speech channel, which connects the bot to speech client, 
and enable WebSockets required for real-time audio communications. Course and the Cortana channel are not necessary for this setup. Question number 247. You are building a retail chatbot that will use Q&A Maker service. You upload an internal support document to train the model. The document contains the following question. What is your warranty period? Users report that the chatbot returns the default Q&A Maker answer when they ask the following question. How long is the warranty coverage? The chatbot returns the correct answer when the user asks the following question. What is your warranty period? Both questions should return the same answer. You need to increase the accuracy of the chatbot responses. Which three actions should you perform in sequence? 1. Add a new question and answer Q&A pair. 2. Retrain the model. 3. Add additional questions to the document. 4. Republish the model. 5. Add alternative phrasing to the question and answer Q&A pair. Option A, 5, 2, 4. Option B, 3, 2, 4. Option C, 1, 2, 4. Option D, 3, 2, 5. The correct answer is Option A, 5, 2, 4. To ensure the chatbot returns the correct answer for different phrasings, add alternative questions like how long is the warranty coverage to the existing Q&A pair. Then retrain the model to learn the new data and republish it so changes take effect. This approach improves the model's ability to match similar intents with minimal effort. Question number 248 You are developing an application that will recognize fault in components produced on a factory production line. The components are specific to your business. You need to use the Custom Vision API to help detect common faults. Which three actions should you perform in sequence? 1. Train the classifier model. 2. Upload and tag images. 3. Initialize the training dataset. 4. Train the object detection model. 5. Create a project. Option A, 5, 2, 3. Option B, 5, 2, 1. Option C, 5, 3, 1. Option D, 5, 1, 3. The correct answer is Option B, 5, 2, 1. First, create a project in custom vision. Then, Upload and tag images of your business specific components and faults. Finally, train the classifier model using the labeled data. These steps follow the standard flow for setting up a classification model with custom vision and they minimize development effort. Question number 249. You are developing the smart e-commerce project. You need to implement auto-completion as part of the cognitive search solution. Which three actions should you perform? 
Option A, make API queries to the autocomplete endpoint and include suggested name in the body. Option B, add a suggester that has the tree product name field as source fields. Option C, make API queries to the search endpoint and include the product name field in the search field query parameter. D. Add a suggester for each of the three product name fields. E. Set the search analyzer property for the three product name variants. F. Set the analyzer's property for the three product name variants. The correct answers are Option A. Make API queries to the autocomplete endpoint and include suggested name in the body. Option B. Add a suggester that has the three product name fields as source fields. Option F. Set the analyzer property for the three product name variants. You need to add a suggester with the desired product name field as source field. Then set the analyzer property to determine how the field is tokenized for indexing and suggestion. To use autocomplete, make API queries to the autocomplete endpoint and include the suggested name in the request. Question number 250. You are developing an app that will use the Azure AI Fusion API to analyze an image. You need to configure the request that will be used by the app to identify whether an image is clip art or a line drawing. You need to complete the following request. Which value should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A. Get. Option B. Batch. Option C. Post. The correct answer is Option C. Post. The Azure AI Vision API requires a post request to analyze an image. The post method is used to submit data to be processed to a specified resource, which in this case is the Vision API endpoint. This allows the API to perform the image analysis and return the result. Question number 251. 